Good evening, welcome to Hot and Spicy. How are you doing? All right. I've been looking forward to this. Um, I'm trialing, trialing, trying um, three new products from Farm Foods for me. Um, not seen anybody try these unless I've missed uh, on YouTube or anything. It's um, these are called Dynamite Bites. I think chicken from Farm Foods. Uh, difficult to cook them as they vent some are very small some are a bit bigger they're just little round things cook for about 20 minutes um, these bright looking things are these are tandoori chicken tenders I love tandoori so I'm just trying them there won't be much heat in them and these are a Chinese style pork rib in there so oh and uh, spring rolls Vegetable spring rolls, they're nothing to do with the meal really. They were on offer in Morrison's, so I bought them. And all spring rolls, if you don't know, is a selection of vegetables, garlic, ginger, and then wrapped in a batter and fried as well. Now this is, I made a, a vindaloo sauce. You can tell that. I know you can buy it, but it's easy to make, uh, just a, and it's my own style. Um, garlic. Uh, there's two packs of bird's eye chilies. This is half the sauce. There's another half gone in the freezer so I can use that for a curry in the week or something like that. So two packs of bird's eye chilies, finely chopped, garlic, um, ginger, there's a bit of lime juice because there was half a lime, didn't want to waste it. Um, cumin, garam masala, fenugreek, hot curry powder. What else have I put in? Turmeric. Have I said that, Turmeric? And then just sort of mixed it all in. And we're, so we're going to dip some of these in. If these are not quite hot, then go in the sauce. Ice cold, and I can't wait for this. Bira Moretti, 4.6%. Um, and ready for the LSU. Thank you. I can't wait for this. Because it's warm, baby. We've had some lovely weather this last week and uh, a few odd days as well with a bit dull and a few showers and this that and that. Anyway, never mind that. Cheers. Good health to you. Thanks for joining me on another Saturday night. Ice cold. Oh, that's hit the spot. Whew. God, I love that first one. Hmm. Right, we'll try one of these. Dynamite meant to be very hot. Well, they're using um, decent chicken. I'll give it one more go. There is a, there's something trying on the tongue, but. Flavour is lovely, but so far <clears throat> there's something trying. So they are, I think. I don't know if they build. I class this. You see, I'm getting a coating on the mouth, but it's like a. For my palate, it's like a, a peppery heat. Nice. But there's no any, that's not hot for me. That wouldn't be, um, maybe if you eat 10 of them, you'd feel a bit more, it's one of them. 
if you're a normal palated person you might find them hot um, but if Mrs H ate meat she'd eat one of them I'm sure she would no problem right let's try a tandoori tender Mm. Looks like they've come out of Salafield. Nice chicken. Lovely coating. No heat. So, tandoori with vindaloo. Mm. That was the first time. bird's eyes. I tell you. Oh, let's try one of them in there then. This is a bit of a... In all honesty, this type of meal is something I would have but not film. Because it'd be like a trial. Trying. Trial. Keep saying trial. Trying. Experimenting. So lovely, lovely heat to that. that that's a vindaloo. Um, but that, you know, it's... shame really. I did expect these because they look the part. Um, dynamite. Maybe the normal people that go into farm foods or you know don't buy hot stuff. Um, maybe a few of them and they'd feel it and be quite happy with that but um, for me they're not hot they're just a peppery heat there's a coat in there the more you eat you can feel a bit of a something's trying um, but the flavour's lovely yeah so it's they're not dynamite for me but you know I bought two packs so I won't waste them Mind you, Chinese, and these are a Chinese style rib. Ooh. First flavour for them, star anise. They've definitely used star anise in that. Lovely. Mm. So, what's on your plate this evening? Or dish or whatever you're having. God, you are, yeah, I was going to say, you have some lovely meals. Definitely cold enough this time. Whew, that's lovely. Mm. You can see the inside of my well, That's lovely. Good week since I've seen you. I hope so. Oh, I'm going to show you something. Um, when was it? Wednesday? I think Wednesday. In the week, anyway. Uh, well, anyway, take a look at this. <laughs> so, in work. 
10 to 6. And then we're uh, just been given some of that. Look at that, beautiful. Gareth PSG, cheers, Gareth. I'm going to put that in the microwave and I'll tell you more about it now. Right, here we go. So what this is, is spare pork he makes. Uh, pork, little thin slices of potatoes, rice, red onion, salt, pepper, cumin, garabasala, paprika, all that type of stuff. Here we go. Mm. Bloody lovely. Wow. And it does taste just as good this time of the morning, even longer. <laughs> Beautiful. And it'll give a nice smell to the kitchen. So cheers, Gav. You wasted in here, should be a chef. Mm. So that was spicy. <laughs> 10 to 6 that was. I've had it before, I, I spoke about it a while ago and uh, I was lucky enough, he, uh, Gareth brought some more, PSG, cheers Gareth, brought uh, another bit of it. And what I like about it, his, his flavours if you like, his ingredients are consistent. You know what I mean? So that you don't have it once and it's always oh, lovely and then you have it again and it's oh, can, he's overdone it on the cumin or whatever. It's spot on, just lovely. Really, I still enjoyed it. Excuse me. I can't tell <coughs> if that was a chilli on the back of the throat. Or I was going the wrong way. Could have been <laughs> could have been the latter actually. <coughs> yeah. Um I was gonna say, yeah, ten to six. Um, even that early, once you have your first mouthful, and um, you think, God, you, you, you. so it doesn't matter what time of day, really, if you're peckish. Yeah. Lovely. What meal are you having tomorrow? What's, yeah, what Sunday dinner are you having? To be to think these are frozen and not expensive. That's a damn good um tasting rib. Mm. I get the Chinese side of it. So all you've got to do is add star and eat really. <laughs> right, that's nice. It's like a Chinese barbecue sort of flavour. Mm. I'm glad I got that. Dinner for me tomorrow. Um, oh, there was probably no intro on this, was there? Where's it? Where's the intro? Um, where I usually film the intro was busy being used by she who must be obeyed. So I thought we'll have a change make a change so uh, maybe you didn't miss it at all <laughs> um oh yeah tomorrow 
I'm hoping to do a, a barbecue, weather permitting. Um, so I've got all the odds and ends. So I'm not sure what I'm having yet. It's going to be a mixture. I've got a couple of burgers. Um, oh, I'll tell you what I have got. Wild boar burgers. Never tried them before. Wild boar burgers. Um, I've seen them in uh, Morrison's special thing. Never seen them before. I'm not there anyway. So um, a couple of them got chicken, belly pork. Um, that reminds me actually I want to marinate the belly pork ready so I'll do that tonight before I have too many of these <coughs> and uh, yeah just a mixture then of um, salad and all the meats and wild boar burger Marinated belly pork, a couple of chicken wings. Um, I tried uh, last week some chicken in my salad, and I did it also in some wings. Um, if you remember Tyrone the chef, well, if you watch last week's video, you'll see the comment he left. And I called in, he's a head chef, I called in at his work. And uh, he made a powder, peri peri, with um, a habanero or jalapeno, was it? I can't remember that, jalapeno. Anyway, like a powder, and I marinated the chicken in it and uh, cooked it, and it was beautiful. He was, I, I told him, I contacted him, he said, Let me know what you think. And the sort of the the two parts, one wasn't overpowering the other, you had the flavours of the two and then you taste the peri peri and then you, you have that little kick of the uh, the chilli after, really nice, nicely done and worked well as a marinade you know, uh, put the chicken in a bag and tossed it around, that's lovely, so thank you sir if you're watching Tyrone Vino Vaur. Um We had Sunday lunch there. Highly recommended if you're ever in the area. If you don't know what it is, the simplest way of saying it, if you're coming not from the area, put into your sat nav or your phone, Glan Fluid Hospital, it's next door. <laughs> yeah. Nice old build, lovely, nice. All the surgeons go there to get drunk, you know, just before they perform operations. <laughs> Imagine that. I bet it did years ago. Bit of Dutch courage to steady the arm, hand. Yeah. So that, how can I say, apart from that, <laughs> it wouldn't be a hot and spicy. These, if I'm honest, I'm a bit disappointed because I did expect a, a kick. Didn't I? I knew they wouldn't blow my head off uh, in a way because I think, um, well, well, I don't know, you see, because farm foods, I see a bit similar to Iceland because they have the same similar types of things, you know, a lot of frozen stuff and Iceland is mainly frozen stuff but they do sell fresh as well. But Iceland, when they do a reaper curry, it's a reaper curry. When they do the pizza and all the things, they have a kick to them, um, which is fantastic. So these dynamite, I thought, are they following suit with Iceland? You know, the farm foods sort of thing. But flavour-wise, 
fantastic. Would I buy them again? Yes. But I'd have to add heat to them, uh, like I'm doing. But, yeah, flavour-wise, good chicken, but it's not a, not a, there's no, they're not dynamite for me. You know, they're just, sort of bog standard really. There's a bit of a kick. After you've had four or five, there's something just like a peppery heat for me, I call it. Uh, but that's it, it doesn't go to anything. But if your palate's normal, if you're a, if you're normal, not like me, <laughs> maybe you'd find them, have a kick to them and that's good enough for you, you know. So these are not hot, they just look like they're, as I said, from Sellafield, so, radioactive. Good chicken, lovely flavour. I like tandoori from the days. I think, as I said, tandoori became really popular in the 80s. Everybody wanted to barbecue everything there. Um, how do I know that? Because we sold tons of the stuff in the, in the butcher, butchers. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm going on. Right. Thanks for watching. Sorry to go on. I'm not sure what the time is on this. Um, really enjoyed this. That is gorgeous. Bit of Moretti. Ice cold. Better, I was going to say better driven. Don't drink and drive, folks. Better drunk on that icy cold sort of lovely. That first one that you'll never beat, will you? Are you with me on that? Do, you, do any of you have a, that first... I said just me that gulps, <laughs> but I just like that first, just that taste of it. Oh, this is it. So, um, yeah, something different. Trying these, everything tastes lovely, um, but there's nothing spicy in any of them, including that. Unless you eat about ten of them, you can just a peppery heat. So that saved the day. Hot. And flavours them. So, um, yeah. If you follow me on Paul H, I'll see you in the morning. Otherwise, look after yourselves. Have a great weekend. Many thanks again. And um, have a great weekend. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. And all the best. Bye-bye. You were hoping I'd do that, wouldn't you? Have a good one.